Hello dearies. I'm going to teach you how to um, do stuff in FL Studio. To make, how to make a wildly synthesizer noises. <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to teach you how to uh, do a, a piece of a song that incorporates some um, atmospheric synthesizer noises, some at atmospheric drums, and then maybe some vocals or some, you know, some synthesizer melodies, something like that. And we're just going to program everything directly into FL Studio. Uh, using Minimoog V, Citrus, and FPC drums, and everything from FL Studio except for Minimoog, which you can buy. It's not that expensive. It's really cool. It's worth buying. Buy it and stuff. Yeah. Let's load a Minimoog uh, instance here. Are we recording? Yeah. Um, this is what the Minimoog sounds like. <laughs> Filter sounds like it's not a real mini mode, but it sounds pretty decent. Um, you click this button here, you click browse, browse parameters, and to create automation for the cutoff frequency knob, you right click the depth cutoff, you click edit events. Now, when you go here into the piano roll, you, you can find th that parameter here, depth cutoff. And if you go into cell snap to grid mode, you can just set everything to minimum here. And start building up a simple synthesizer warbly rhythm thingy. It's very tedious. Let's just do a two bar thingy. The video is gonna be too long then. I don't wanna make huge videos. Set the filter emphasis higher so it sounds more nasal. Send this to insert to. You had delay to it. A little bit of delay. A little bit of reverb. Oh, this sounds good. But don't go overboard with the reverb, because that, because then it'll, it'll just drown everything out. Nice. Right off the bat, that sounds like a, like a, like a pretty cool um, synthesizer rhythm to have underneath some drums. And we are going to tackle the drums in the next video. Stay tuned. <laughs> 